Hey guys, Super Horror Bro Mike here, and in today's video, we are playing a new horror game called Welcome to Kowloon. This is a horror game based in a town that is now demolished. It was a city built in China, and it was the world's most densely populated city. At the time it was shut down and demolished in the late 1980s, it contained over 50,000 residents. They were, of course, evicted before it was demolished. And these 50,000 people lived in just 26,000 meters squared. So it was a really overpopulated city, and um, I'm probably showing you like an image of it now on screen, guys, of a real place. I don't think it exists anymore. I think it's been long, like, demolished, as I said. But this is a horror game based in it because, of course, over the years, there's been many, like, creepy pastas written about it and uh, scary myths written about it. Probably most of which, if not all of which, are untrue. But still, you know, people like to make these kind of creepy stories about these towns that once existed. And we're going to be playing a game based around that today. Now this is meant to be a very scary game, it's meant to have photorealistic graphics and it looks really cool. It's also meant to be just under an hour in length so it should be a nice short and sweet video on the channel today. So let's dive into Welcome to Kowloon and see what this game is all about. Kowloon Walled City 1999. Okay so it still exists in this game in 1999. Perhaps it wasn't demolished in the 80s. Beneath the misty skies of China lay Kowloon, the world's most populated city where poverty and gang violence thrives. I think that said <laughs> misty end bit. So here's someone, they're turning up to uh, Kowloon City, I guess. However, for a young student, the first and immediate desire is to find cheap housing. Okay, so they're finding a new house in Kowloon City. What awaits him inside the walls? Hmm, I'm guessing some kind of ghost maybe? Wow, yeah this does look good actually. Like visually this is really crazy looking. So I think it's retelling a different story to the real life events, guys. Because I'm pretty sure this did get demolished in the late 80s or early 90s at least. But here we go. Let's go. We're uh, trying to find a new home in Kowloon City. Something cheap because we're a student. I feel like this is going to be um, our downfall perhaps. Do we, uh, we go through any of these doors? Nope, that's locked. This looks crazy. This looks actually quite like real life. Like visually. Can I go through here? No. Some clothes hanging up. We go through here. Yes, we can open this one. Okay, we're inside. Our new home. Alright, here we go. It's uh, <laughs> lovely looking, isn't it? I don't know about you guys, but I feel right at home in here. I rented a room in an apartment on the fourth floor. Okay, so we need to go up to floor number four. That'll be, I think, one more up, right? This one, probably. Oh, man. Yeah, you don't want to live here, buddy. Too bad about the dog. He must be hungry. Where's the dog? Oh, there. Oh, a little pup. Hey, fella. Little Labrador, I think. Maybe I can feed him somehow. Oh god. Ooh, what a smell. Is this our apartment? No. Can't be right. What about through here? Locked. Okay. Guess we're going up even further. Not that one. We need to find our apartment, guys. Although I don't feel like I want to be here, really. Oh, it's maybe this one, right? Yeah, look at this. This is our place. Or maybe not. It's just a corridor leading to our place. Oh. I can hear people living here. What's this? I left. I put the key in the store. It's outside by the entrance. What? Oh, man. i got to go back outside? Are you kidding me? We've got to run all the way back down, guys. Unless it's in here. Does he mean in here? In this little room? Hey, here's the dog. The dog's awake. Hey, dog. 
You're a good boy. I'll leave you there for now. Nothing better happened to that dog, guys. I tell you. If it does... Okay, this place is filthy. What was that? Yeah, nothing better happened to that dog. I tell you that much. What's in here? Looks like a small back room. Is this the key we need? Nope. He did say it was outside. So maybe we can't really do anything in here. Don't know why this opens up right now. Never mind. We'll keep going. Back outside. I kind of feel safer out here than in that apartment. It's kind of empty out here. It is empty, but it's uh, it's all right. This appears to be the storeroom the landlady wrote about. Okay, so this is where the key should be. The key should be around here somewhere. Cool. Not in there. Ooh, that's locked. So what are we looking for? Key? Some. Oh, that opens now. Fair enough. Key, key, key. Where is it? Oh, it's here. Look. There we go. We got a key. Nice. All right, let's head back out. Oh, the dog food. I'm taking that for the dog. Nice. Go and feed that dog. Oh, that music ended abruptly. So what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to go and find that dog. And I'm going to give him some dog food. Oh, my God. What was that, man? Oh, it's just a pipe. A burst pipe. That's fine. Dog, I've got you some food. Here we go. Look. Hey, feed the dog. Achievement unlocked. There you go. That's good, isn't it, boy? Can I crouch? No. I want to get a good look at this dog. But we can't crouch. But he's eating his food. He's quite happy now. So he'll live another day. I better go up. Oh, I can't go up. What the heck? It's all blocked now. Hmm. Can I go through here? Yes. Okay. We're going to have to try and find another way upstairs. Here we go. We'll take the back way. Okay. Should be through here, I reckon. Yep. And where was our apartment, guys? It was down here, I think, wasn't it? Ah, uh, here we go. Yep, not gonna unlock the store, look. Finally, we're inside our apartment. So let's see what it's like. Oh, open sesame. Oh my god. All right, this isn't nice. We've got moths everywhere. <laughs> we better not take our clothes out in this place. They're gonna get eaten. Storeroom here. They've already stocked it with food. That's good of them. So we've got plenty to eat. Can't really see much though, it's so dark in this game. Need a flashlight or something. Bathroom? Look at this toilet, man. I actually have seen these in like Korean movies and stuff. Like I've heard of a porcelain throne, but this has taken it too far. It's literally up there. You can look down on everyone while you're on the toilet. Not that anyone else should be in here if you're uh if you're using that, but I feel like my head would touch the ceiling if I was sat on that. Like, it would be really uncomfortable. I'd be, like, craned over. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Anyway. Fair enough. Strange toilet. It's customary, I guess, in this part of the world. It's only strange to me. I'm guessing this is the landlady's room. Alright. Is this our place? Yeah, this is my room. Okay, so they share the, the bathroom. It's communal. I'm going to close that for now. Oh, can I open this? No, that seems locked. Okay. We're not going in there. Hmm. So what else do I want to do? Just walk about? Just get a sense of a place. Here's the kitchen. This is actually kind of nice for this kitchen. Got little plants hanging up. She's taking care of those. A view of the city. As crowded as it may be. Of course, they have got a water problem. Bit of a water leak there, but never mind. We've got one more door here to check out. The door to the balcony is closed. Okay. Should we check out the landlady's room? Are we able to get into that? Knocking on it. Guys, I don't know what to do here. I don't know what the game wants from us. Oh, I sleep. I just sleep, guys. I was walking around for a while trying to figure out what to do. We just put our stuff down on the bed. Okay. 
I can't wait for a hot cup of tea. I've actually got a cup of tea right now, guys, while I'm uh, filming this video. Okay, so we need to make some tea. Put some water on to boil first. There we go. Cup of tea makes everything better. It's the simple things in life, right? Okay, that's done. There we go. A nice cup of tea. Let's have a drink. Achievement. Finish your tea. Awesome. Okay, um... What do we do now? Go and see the landlady finally? I think it's time to go to my room. Okay, just go back to your room. Oh, the cupboard's opened. Let's have a look inside. We've got a note. I'm scared. I want to go home. The old woman's gone crazy. I haven't been able to go outside for a long time. So someone was like imprisoned here or something <laughs> against their will. Fair enough. That's reassuring, isn't it? Wait, what's that sound? What a load of crap, but it's worth checking the front door just in case. Okay. Oh, it is locked. What the heck? Guys, look, there's a padlock on this thing. No. Looks like the landlady has already come home and locked the door. Oh, great. So what are we supposed to do now? Do I have to just knock on her door and like, oh, she's home or someone is? Hey, open the door. This isn't cool. Can't you just get a chain so I can come and go as I please? Oh, she's put a note down. Don't you dare go out at night. All right. Well, what if I? What if it's an emergency? I need to find a way out. Okay. Well, um, maybe go this way. That's locked. Oh. Oh my God, man! I can hear noises already. I'm getting freaked out. What do we do? The kettle's like really brewing. Wait. I hear someone in the bathroom now. Where was the bathroom? Down here? Yep. Hmm. Someone's in there. Maybe the landlady, right? There's got to be a way out of this place somewhere. Oh, this is open now. Oh my god. We've got bags of dripping meat. And legs. And hanging arms. Wow. So this is where the landlady lived, and um, yeah, she's got human body parts in here. Oh my god, there's a head as well. Uh, I'm gonna get the key, guys. Is this the key for the padlock? Hopefully. We're getting out of here. We're getting out. Let's go. Screw this place. Something very wrong is happening here. I'm unlocking the door. I'm getting out. The key doesn't fit. What? What's the key for then? Man, maybe it unlocks the other door at the end of the corridor. Let's go. Oh my god, okay. Oh my god, oh my god, okay. She's in here, and she does not look normal. She looks like a ghost or something. Um, what do I do, guys? I'm kind of scared. Uh, key, we've got a key. Oh, maybe the key unlock... Wait, wait, we can't actually see that way now. <laughs> oh my god! Okay, that scared me. What the heck? She came out of nowhere. So I guess she's got us now. We're, we're imprisoned within the apartment. That really scared me then. She just flew out of the shadows. Holy moly, man, this game has got the jump scares on lock. Oh, I wonder if these bags are full of bodies parts as well. <laughs> Let's hope not. Is there anything in here now? Do we, we look in here again? No, that's the same note as before. Alright, I'm going outside. The heck, man. What do we do? Oh, it unlocks now. No way, we can get out. Sweet. We're on the balcony. So we can make it to the other apartment across the, uh, across the way. There we go. Hopefully we can escape now. So we're next door. There's candles. We need a flashlight or something. 
So dark. Man, open. Right, what's in here? There's a note. Things have been weird in town lately. I feel like I'm in danger here. I have to finish for renovations and move out soon. Oh, got someone at the door. Wait, is that door... It's blocked. Can I squeeze through? Someone's just banging on the door. You know what, screw this. I'm just gonna keep pressing forward. That's shut, okay. Didn't wanna go in there anyway. Okay, that's just some clothes hanging up. Nothing to worry about. Anything in the fridge? This is a very weird episode of MTV's Cribs. Oh, wait, what's this? Anything? No. Hmm. There's a door here. It's locked. It's got a padlock on it. Wait, what was that? What was that? Someone's ringing the doorbell. Hey, maybe it's the police. We found some body parts next door, guys. <laughs> we need to tell the police immediately. Wait, I can't answer the door. I don't know what the game wants me to do right now. There's... Oh, I don't think this was open last time. We've got a key. Sweet. I'm taking it. Was that someone in the doorway? Oh my god, it's a body there now, not clothes. Screw this place. I can't get through that door still, man. What the heck? Alright, I'm going this way, guys, past the fridge again. See if we can unlock the padlock on the door now. It's worked. We can get out. What the heck is this? Oh, flashlight! Sweet! The heck is that sound, man? What's this picture all about? Look at that weird picture. I like the flashlight. It's kind of cool. Look, you can move it about on the screen, guys. It's pretty awesome. Oh, no. Is a body gone that was hanging up? Yeah, it's turned back to clothes now. That's all boarded up. Man, this is actually really creepy, guys. This is really freaking me out a little bit. So we haven't been in this room before. What the heck is this all about? Scott sitting on the back, a D. It's, the rest is scribbled out. Okay. Oh, it's a password. So we need to put D first. Okay, well how do we know the rest? Maybe you have to find the rest of the pictures. Okay guys, I'm gonna look for pictures now. Or something that gives us the rest of the uh, letters. I've gotta go back out here though, of course, if I do that. No. Oh man, do I have to go in here really? Oh, yeah, there's picture number two. That's the third letter, C. Okay. So, remember C is the third letter. Oh my god. Another creepy- Oh my god! <sighs> okay. The final letter is Y. So, D, C, Y. Guys, this is freaking me out, man. We have to go in here now. Probably, right? What's under the bucket? Roaches? I can deal with those compared to everything else. I feel like we're gonna have to go back this way, guys. Fridge shuts by itself, who cares? Unless it means there's something in the fridge I gotta look at, like another picture. No? Okay. Um, we want to find, there was another room with it, yeah, with this picture. E. So, D-E-C-Y. So, we just need one more letter. What would that be? De oh, Decay, maybe. Yeah, Decay. Look, that's the final letter A, so we need to put in Decay. 
I'm going to write it in and we're going to get out of here, guys. So, D E C A Y. Let's go. It worked. Nice. Okay, we're out. Oh man, this is insane. This is so creepy. It really captured the atmosphere. But, oh, crowbar. Oh yeah, because it was a boarded up door. So now we can get out with a crowbar. As long as I don't have a heart attack on my way back. Just gotta... Stay calm. Where was the door? Here. Right, let's jimmy these off. Good for crowbar. Nice. We're out. Or in, I guess. Deeper into the apartments. Look how cool this flashlight is. I can't get over how cool this is. Alright, let's check the door. Nothing there? Nothing there. Can I open this? Nope. Just a lot of useless stuff. Can we go this way? Nope. Are we back in the original apartment now? I can't tell. Man. This is so spooky. I'm just going to press forward. Oh, is this the power? It is, but I don't think we can interact with it. All right, let's go. We can't we can't do anything in this room. Man. I'm going downstairs. Or well, maybe not. I'm just going into this room. I thought this was a, a staircase. It's hard to tell. It's just a dark corridor. Screw it. I'm running. Guys, I'm running, man. I'm just getting out. No, the sound design is so good in this game, but it's too good. It's freaking me out. Wait, what the heck? Gotta run? Holy moly, what do you mean gotta run? Oh! Run where? What the heck, bro? Okay, that was scary. That... That guy was just chasing us, but I... I don't think he is anymore. <sighs> okay, we're fine. There's no way out. Code 5913. Oh! Okay, he just appears in our vision as we're zoomed in with our eyeballs. <laughs> Let me write that code down. Alright, 5913. I've remembered it, guys. In case we need it. This game is terrifying. Oh! Okay, man! You just freaked me out again. Are you kidding me? That one didn't get me as badly, because I think I'm preparing myself mentally for these jump scares at this point. It's still not nice though, you know? Oh, we're outside. Okay. Interesting. Keep getting dropped in different places. So I guess we just head back inside? Should probably stay outside or we have a chance. I'm not going back in there. I don't blame you, buddy. I do not blame you. Okay, let's go back out. So, I guess we are outside, but it's all, like, covered up. We can't really escape. So we are going to have to go back inside. Now I'm on the street. All that's left is to find a way out of town. Okay. So we're just trying to, like, find a way out of this hell. We have got the code, 5913, just remember that, oh, telephone, can we go this way, we have to get inside that room somehow, I'm guessing we have to double around this way, vending machine, oh, we put the code in here maybe, and here is the way out. But I need to find something to cut the chains with. Okay, can I put the code into here? There's something but I don't have the money. Yeah, so basically what we need to do is get some money and then put in that 5913 into there. Um, I'm guessing we go back this way towards the flashing lights. 
Always follow the flashing lights in horror games, right? Oh, great. We've got the flashlight out again. At least the game guides you pretty clearly to where you need to go next, I suppose. Can I go through here? I'm looking for some loose change. Anybody got any? <laughs> for that vending machine. We also need some pliers to cut the chains. Can't go through there. Well, we don't need pliers. They wouldn't cut chains, would they? We need bolt cutters. <laughs> Imagine trying to cut a chain with a pair of pliers. You'd be there all day. Um... Which way? Oh, there is a note. The elevator doesn't work. The generator is out of gas and the starter levers are broken. Okay. Looks like we're going to go on fetch quests here. Try and find all these items. Now where do I look for a lever and gasoline? Well, I don't know. Got so much I need to find right now. Bolt cutters, change for the vending machine, um, a lever and gas. Now, oh, it's that guy again. It says go down. I'm going to go through here first. Got to be something in this apartment. There's like four doors in here. <laughs> None of them do anything. All right, I'm going back out then. A lot of the time this game you're just kind of walking around till some um, some thing queues up, like some event happens. Like now the door here looks to be open. So now we can go this way. So it is very much a walking simulator but it's very effective and scary so I kind of like it. Right, we've got a note. Let me show you something, look under the rock by the swing sets. Okay, that's nice of you. Thanks for the tip. There's a ringing phone. It's not ringing anymore. Do we have anything else in this room, though? Like, the bolt cutters that we want. For the change, you know, or some spare change. There's a guy, okay. Again, I'm kind of over the jump scares now, I think. They got me towards the start of the game because I wasn't expecting it to be uh, quite that kind of game, I think. So we need to look under this rock. Now we've got a note. Ha ha ha, and now into the red refrigerator. What the flip? You playing games with us, little girl? That's not cool. I want some change. Where's the red refrigerator? Do I have to follow where that guy went? Down here? I guess so. Flashing light that way. I'm going this way. There's a red refrigerator, I can see it actually, I think, through there. Oh, maybe it's here actually. Hello? Okay, this is fine. Did you see that pine cloth in the yard? Don't you want to see what's behind it? Not really. Back up to the yard, I guess. I can hear someone breathing, guys. I think if we turn around, we're getting a jump scare. So, three, two, one, jump scare. Oh, okay, maybe not. Maybe not. There will be one soon, I'm pretty sure. It's just the nature of the game, you know? And they said there's some kind of cloth hanging up in the yard. I don't know where that would be. Oh, this. This? There's a shutter. So we open the shutter. Oh, it's like a little kid's playroom from hell. Okay. What's this? A note? It's a beautiful hideout, isn't it? I was hiding here from all the horror that started happening in my family, and indeed the whole city, and it's good that there is not a single living soul left in Kaloon. This coin will be useful to you. Hey, we finally got a coin. Let me take it. There you go. Anime, anime fan, a person of taste. Okay, cool, well, let's get out of here. We've got the coin now, we can go all the way back to the vending machine. Do we go this way? Just need a way back out. Oh, I don't think this was open last time. No, we haven't been this way. 
Why is the sound stopped? <gasps> Look, there's a guy there. Or maybe that's the landlady, I don't know. But she's standing right near the vending machine. We need to put this money in. She went in there. Screw her. I'm gonna pop this in here. I'm gonna enter this code now, okay? Gotta remember the code. Wait, why, are, why am I not clicking on it? Why is nothing happening? Oh. Hey, there's the lever. This is what we wanted. Okay, we didn't have to enter the code. We just knew. Do I go through here now? Seems like this is a big mistake. Oh, that's locked. Uh, there's a note here. It's bad. My little girl ran away from home. I don't know what's wrong with her. My wife hasn't come out of the bathtub in three days. Everyone around me is crazy. I don't know what to do. This gas from the pipes. I never noticed it before. I think it's all his fault. Help. Oh, so maybe it's the gas that we kind of saw leaking from that pipe. That's kind of brainwashed everyone and kind of made them go crazy here. Maybe we're just experiencing some kind of uh, delusion ourselves, you know, from the gas. And it's not real. So this might just be an abandoned town. The gas leak has caused us to see things, guys. I don't know. Oh, flickering light. It's a bit extreme. Um, They want to evict us from our neighborhood. The government is hiding the fact that we're dying here. Conspiracy theories. And here's a canister of gasoline. Where? I don't see it. Oh, there. Okay, let's take it, guys. We've got the canister of gas. Oh, what's that sound? Bruh. <laughs> no. No. I'm trapped. <laughs> We gotta go back this way. Oh no, what is that? I wanna find the dog, I wanna save the dog. Man, are you kidding me? This is actually scary. And most of the games I play on this channel, they don't scare me too much. I'm pretty hardened to it, this one is kinda scary. Exit this way. Okay, well, we haven't got a jump scare that time. I'm kind of relieved. The less jump scares we have, the more effective they'll be. Because um, if you use too many, they just, you become numb to them. Oh, well, now which way was it? This way? Yes, we need to put the lever and gasoline in the generator. Here we go. Nice. Starting up. Cool. So, um... We go through here? No? I guess we just... Oh my god, what was that? What was that? I didn't even see what that was. It was just loud. Alright, we're going in the elevator now, right? You gonna open? Thank you. Right, I'm stepping in. Now we wanna go, God knows, floor one, I guess, get out of this place. Nothing better appear in the elevator with us. Toward the stars, visit the roof. Okay, we got another achievement, guys. Here we go, we're outside. Wow, we can see the sky, it's so peaceful and tranquil. Ah, <sighs> now all we need is our cup of tea. Some gentle music playing, lovely. Do we, um, go through here? No? It's kind of nice up here, you know? Ooh, there's the bolt cutters we needed. Right, we can go down, cut the chair. Oh no, we've got to go back down, that means. This is like our only place of peace and quiet that we can get in this whole place. And now we've got to go back downstairs. Ugh. We've got to go back to that shutter and cut the chains. So we're going back into the depths of hell. It was like, enjoy it while it lasts, sucker. Because you're not going to get this peace and quiet for very long. So here we go, we're back downstairs. We're making our way 
to the shutter so we can cut the chains and get out of here. Just want to get back to the car, save that dog. Hey, doggy, you're here! Oh, it looks actually kind of scary. Its eyes look a bit insane. But you know what? I'll take it over everything else. You okay, buddy? You our friend now? Looks like that creepypasta smile dog a little bit. Oh, okay. Can I pet you? No? Okay. Well, you can follow me if you like. We're gonna leave now. Here we go. Into another part of the town. Who's in there? Oh my god, we actually got a dude in there praying. The heck? Oh! This guy's just hitting his head against the wall. Oh my god, he's missing a bit of his side. Woman up there, just chilling. Looking down, judging us. Hello. You look like Skeletor, buddy. You okay? Alright, let's keep going. Ooh, there's one there. What the heck? Everyone's just died in this town. There's one trapped under there. Man, there's one under the shutter there. Look at all these hands just reaching out. Help us! Help us! No can do. Another guy hitting his head. This is crazy. Can we go through here? I just want to get out of here at this point. I'm like, I don't care anymore. Just let me leave. Let me out. Oh, yeah, I think we made it out, guys. We escaped. Okay, there's our car. Run. But what about the dog? We've left the dog behind. Leaving the city achievement. I wonder if there's any way to save that dog. It looks all, like, closed, doesn't it? The lights aren't on anymore. And it's all ruined. So yeah, I think the story is that it was closed in the 80s, like the true story, you know, when it was all demolished in the late 80s. But we went in and we got, we interacted with this gas that they talked about, that was a gas leak there. And it was basically this gas that made you uh, imagine things and we imagined what happened to the people of a the city there. I think that's the story. Recently there have been many reports to the police from people who have been to Kloon. They say they have seen a city that does not exist. Kloon Walled City, demolished five years ago, was one of the worst cities in China. Shortly before demolition, it had experienced a spike in crime and unwarranted murders. Many believe that the government was willing to go to terrible lengths to demolish Kloon. Oh god, okay. Jump scare. They're not getting me anymore. Oh, exit. We just exit now. So that's the end. Okay, so that was the end of the game. Interesting. So basically, I think, yeah, the story was that there had been some murders and crime in that town. I don't know if that happened in real life. I imagine any city has crime, especially one with such a high population. And so there'd been this gas leak in the story of the game. Don't know if that happened in real life, but it was this gas that was making people see things that weren't there. And I think our character went back, was exposed to some of this, had heard the stories about the murders there and basically was imagining all these horrifying things that could happen to them if they were actually living there. But they were just urban exploring, I believe. So I think that's the story of the game. Uh, either way, it was a pretty short game and just more of an experience than like a full-blown game. It's kind of one of those things you just walk through it, you experience the jump scares, do a few simple puzzles, and just take in the atmosphere and the environments. I think for what it was, and the fact that it's like, I think maybe like seven, eight dollars, it's pretty good. It's obviously had a lot of time put into it. Whether it's worth that much will of course be up to you to decide, but I will leave a link below so you can go and check the game out if you'd like to. But I actually enjoyed this game and hopefully you've enjoyed the video today. If you have, of course, remember to leave a like, comment down below, and of course subscribe for more videos just like this one. And I will see you all on the next one.